Justin Cruz. Well, the holiday spirit was alive and well tonight in Kaimuki for the annual Christmas parade. Hundreds of marchers and floats took over Wailai Avenue this evening. The event capped off with the lighting of the famous floating tree, Christmas tree, at Pu'u o Kaimuki Mini Park. Merry Christmas, everyone. Quiet night tonight. We do have some showers moving through. Temperature 77 degrees with trades to 14 miles per hour. Heavy rain threat is high for the next 24 hours. Um, and it's from a storm that's moving in from the west. We have high clouds right now. We haven't seen sunshine. It's a very cloudy night tonight. And the thick streaming clouds are going to continue through Friday. On top of that, we do have some moisture should be spreading over the islands overnight. This is the future radar. But the great thing about this, you'll notice, by tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, it clears the state. And what that means for us is that by Friday night and Saturday morning, as it clears the islands, that means it's not going to bring wet weather to the state this weekend. It's going to be gone by Saturday and Sunday, and therefore we have a beautiful weekend weather forecast. Until then, though, the high clouds are continuing. Showers are getting bulkier as well as more frequent and overnight that's going to continue we've also seen almost an inch of rain or excuse me a half an inch of rain for some parts of Kauai within the last hour so the showers are increasing and that's going to apply to all islands mostly for Oahu Maui County and the Big Island late tonight and early tomorrow morning and afternoon Kauai seeing a few more showers compared to the rest of the state right now. One to three for the west, excuse me, the south shore, three to five for the east. We're probably going to see some more surf this weekend, especially on Sunday, approaching advisory level surf uh, for the north as well as the east shores. A new swell moves through. A wet Aloha Friday tomorrow with cloudy skies, numerous showers, trades though, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And here's what you need to know about that weekend. Any rain that you see on Friday, tomorrow, that should be gone by Saturday. It's not going to be completely dry. We do anticipate, you know, maybe an isolated shower or two. Great conditions for the marathon. No heavy rain and light winds. So you won't have a headwind or a tailwind. Might feel a bit more warm, but still beautiful conditions for the Honolulu Marathon. And then next round of wet weather. That could be arriving Wednesday and Thursday. With this next storm system, it's a cold front. And I'm hoping temperatures will drop after the rain passes. We'll see if those cold fronts actually make it to the state. And I'll keep you posted every newscast and online at khon2.com.